Breaking news into the SNY TV newsroom. I'm Eamon McEnany alongside SNY's NFL insider Ralph Vacchiano and reportedly Pat Shermer out as Giants head coach after two seasons. They're now on to their fifth head coach in six years. This is really an unprecedented level of stability. They're a franchise that I think they would admit is a little bit lost. You always feel responsible when, when, uh, when a coach gets gets uh, fired and you you know it's obviously because as players we, we didn't do our part we didn't play well enough we didn't win enough games it all starts at the top um so yes you can criticize me all you want it, it, it would be warranted it sucks you know um, that's your that's your coach you know that's, he's one of the guys that believe in me believe in dj you, know, you don't want to see no one go out like that you know coach uh, obviously believed in me coach believed in in all of us and uh you know, disappointing. Obviously, that's I guess part of the part of the business and and uh, you know part of the game at this level. Clearly, this was not a roster built to win and built to compete this year. So, what inevitably became the decision to fire Shermer after four and twelve this year? Wins and losses. I mean, that's as simple as it gets. They're nine and twenty-three in his tenure. Um, in the two years that Pat Shermer's been the head coach. They thought that they should win more. Uh, I think that they evaluated his game decisions, uh, you know, the, the way he presented himself to the media, all of it factored in, and they just got the feeling that, based on what they saw, he was not the right man to move this franchise forward. So I just felt like we weren't winning enough games, we weren't winning the games that we should have won, and we just need to go in a different direction. I see the same goal line that John Maris sees. I would like to be more involved, I will become more involved. So going forward, um, you know, in 2020. That's the first decision, whether whether to I want to continue to, to play or not, and then go from there. I can still play, uh, but you know, just figure figure uh, figure everything out. You didn't enjoy being a backup, but if the Giants wanted you to come back in that role, would you consider it? Um, I doubt it. I doubt it. So uh, you know, uh, backing up's not not real fun. We've got the answer at quarterback. I think we have a, a lot of good young players. We just need them to take take it to the next level, and hopefully the, the next coach will help them do that. Theoretically, John Mara can do whatever he wants and listen to nobody. That's not the way he operates. He brings in Steve Tisch. If Steve Tisch really wants full-scale changes in the organization, doesn't mean they're going to happen, but he definitely will have a strong influence on what John Mara ultimately decides. I'm always willing to look at whatever's going to improve the team, and if I thought that there was somebody coming in here as a head coach, uh, who wanted a different role, if he could convince Steve and I that uh, that would make sense for our organization, we would certainly consider that. And whoever they bring in here, I hope they just bring a guy that is, you know, got the right mindset and going to lead us to, to, to try to turn this thing around. I think the first call is going to be to Matt Rule. He will be one of the hottest candidates on the market, so they better move fast if he's their guy.